Should I like breakfast?
hi guys so i'll be making jollof rice today this is my main ingredient the rice i have prepped everything down so that by the time i start cooking hmm, i'll be stressed so i have my rice here i'm using titus fish i want the flavor of a fresh titus fish i have my blended tomatoes and pepper i don't like such a tomatoes so I always like blended. Um, my salt, lots and lots of crayfish blended um, here. No cubes. I don't know if I'll be using all yet, so we'll see. And then my chopped onions. Let's get cooking. <laughs> Wow, a package or two packages just, just came in from Oraimo. One is the Smart Air Fryer. I like the look of it. And then this is, what is this? Oh my God. This is Effortless Garments Smart Steamer. Great. God knows I need this thing because I hate ironing so much. Woo, anyway, we'll do the unboxing later. Let's just go and continue cooking. Hey, hey, hi, hi, see how excited I look, you see how excited I look, I've been dreaming about today, anyway, in case you're wondering about me, I know some of you have been bothered about me, you know, with my lips going all black and all, um, I applied a lip balm, okay? I wrote it somewhere um, in my 
blog where I was just uh, arranging or something. Yeah, I said I was complaining about a lip balm I used that made my, my lips started reacting to it. So, yeah, I'm very okay. I'm okay. I, I've just been so busy with moving and all. If you've been following me before I moved, I was looking way better. <laughs> I was taking care of myself, obviously. I say better soup na money kill em. So I've not been using money to kill the better soup since I moved to this house. What I'm trying to say is what I'm trying to say is I have not been spending money on myself to take care of myself. So yeah. I don't even know how to play. I don't know how to act. Lord, please show me how to act because okay. Um, I wish I would go for my hair appointment, but I didn't book for that. I just got the hair that I ordered for, so um, I would figure that out later. So today I'm going for my nails. I'm going to make my nails. So I've been looking for someone to do like buy-up and I finally found someone not too far from me. So I'm excited. And I'm hoping, like, this is going to be the first experience with her. So I'm hoping that I'm going to love my nails, love the experience, love the place entirely. So that I can know that, okay, I finally have a nail tech. Because the last person that did my nails, she traumatized me badly. My nails are just healing. Like, the final part of what she destroyed just healed completely. <laughs> I just cut it off. So, yeah. Let's go get my nails done. Adulthood now scam, you better get them for your mind. You got to hustle two for seven. Hmm. Nobody go ask if you don't chop. <laughs> Adulthood, is there a time that we won't be spending money? Like, is there a day that goes by that you're not spending money in this hood called adulthood? Because I'm tired. <laughs> Let me give you let me give you a brief um, rundown of what happened yesterday. I made my nails already. Yes, you can already tell. Yesterday, you know, I told you guys that I booked uh, someone, and that was gonna be the first time I'll be trying this girl. Only for me to. <laughs> yesterday was so chaotic. First of all, yesterday was super chaotic. Now this girl. I ah this is why I like talking about stuff when they happen yeah so that I don't forget little details because that's me like if it's not important I'm not I'm going to forget about it so this lady first of all she was very terrible at communicating I am very very big on communication whether you are someone that is close to me or not I'm very big on communication that's why it's easy for people to fall in love with me I'm very very big I love to gist I love to go into details I love to go in depth let me spare you guys the details so yeah I'm very big on communication effective communication I'm that person that you ask for description and I'm describing every little detail for you and you can never get lost so I'm that kind of person now this lady okay she gave an address what's the address she gave me um, is the name of an estate i'm like okay our appointment was supposed to be she said two or three so i was like okay i'm not a night i don't like being outside when it's late because lagos to me not to me lagos is actually very chaotic i'm like okay can we make it two 
like can we stick to 2 p.m she was like um she's sorry that she's uh she has an appointment she has a home service to you know go render the service there uh that's the reason why she said two or three so let's just do three i'm like okay fine now it was like 2 30 i was almost ready or i was already i was ready and i haven't heard from the lady obviously she's not at her salon right and obviously for her to give me that time it means she does not have someone working for her i'm like okay okay um so i texted i texted i'm like um it's almost time i i called actually when i texted i'm like when i get to this estate what next what do i do what next you can't just give me an estate as an address and you can't give me any direction or like tell me what to do or you know like just leave me like that <laughs> it's not nice i wouldn't do that to anybody honestly everybody has conscience like that so i texted there was no response um it wasn't even delivering like it was just one tick on whatsapp so i called her phone number i was saying unreachable oh, and stuff like that um like i texted again I'm like it's almost time um I'm about to leave the house and there's no like I can't I, I can't hear from you I can't reach you so a few minutes later she comes online she, she drops a phone number saying that her whatsapp line was dying right I was like okay fine so I left the house quickly because one thing about me I don't like running late for anything on my way I kept on calling this lady I was calling and calling so I would ask her because I don't like going to a place that I don't know and then I'm standing like a fugitive me it's not like i don't have a place to live i don't have a roof over my head so why should i go somewhere and then i'm just standing on the road do you get what i'm saying it's quite embarrassing knowing how busy the streets of lagos can be and it's on lagos mainland it's not like it's on the island i actually miss the island talking about this right now <laughs> anyway i called i called i called she never took my calls in fact i kept on saying she's not taking my calls like uh the user is not taking your calls like it was ringing she was not picking my calls you guys i was there till 4 4 20 something before i decided to leave i even saw like a salon around the, the you know the estate gates where I, I i went there the sun was so hot I feel like maybe I even got sunburned a bit because I didn't even remember to apply reapply my sunscreen because I mean like a lot was going on I'm like I really need to get these things done so that I don't use this money for something else so you and I know how this adulthood can be because that's the reason why I haven't been taking care of myself because like there are bills and bills to pay so by the time I'm done paying there's like almost nothing left for me to like pamper myself so I'm like mm -mm, I'm gonna do that this month it's not gonna pass me by this month I went to the other store i checked they don't even know the lady and all i'm like i do know what i already paid a booking fee like to like confirm the time for me like okay this is my time i paid five thousand naira already which is not much of a big deal but so i left i left the place i was texting all through like this is very bad and so unprofessional i was just in fact if i give you guys the details like this estate now has two gates like a proper business owner that knows that your estate has two entrances gate one and gate two are you not supposed to even as you are telling me the name of the estate are you not supposed to tell me which of the gates no there was no nothing like that nothing like that now there are um, issues like this would happen that i would let it go and still work with the person right i still but there was no avenue like she didn't communicate anything she was not communicating and like I said, I'm very big on communication. I do not roll with people who do not communicate with me. Never. I left. I just branched into a street shop. <laughs> not far from my estate. Where I usually, I just see, like, I, I usually pass and I see the store. So I just went there and I decided to play it safe. So I told her to make this, like, just make me, like, not like it's perfect. Yeah, there are some imperfections, but it will suffice so yeah that's how i ended up with this that's how i ended up with this so i wanted to get buyer but i had now i find i had to just do acrylic because not everyone does buyer oh my god that was it too. now 
now i couldn't get two people to make my hair now i'm going to look for a hair stylist hairdresser to make my hair like i need to make it today it has to be today <laughs> and it's not something hard okay it's not something hard so for now i'm gonna go grocery shopping um when i'm back i would take my hair and go to the salon for now yeah
this is as a result of a lip balm that I used something like this <laughs> but known to me that one had expired now let me show you guys something even if what you buy is like really nice there's still an expiration date for um, let's say there's an expiration date for your product right let's check this this one says expiration is 2026 which is next year okay yeah you can see that now once opened I need you to take a look at this once opened there is a period in which you need to make use of it or else you can no longer use it the expiration date is a, is the expiration date is the shelf life so it can be on the shelf till 2026 before someone buys it right but if you're buying it in 2024 and you start using it you have only 12 months to use it like this can you see that I'm trying to see let me show you now you have just 12 months as you can see opened you see this sign check all your products all your skincare product once opened you have just 12 months to use it so that is what so yeah that is one thing I did not realize and I went ahead and I used the lip balm it's, yeah uh, yeah so let me try this one out smells like watermelon hmm and it's so hydrating and then I couldn't find the classic lip gloss so I found Huda Beauty but I don't know let me try it out and see what the consistency ew it's so watery look look at it for me in there let's see nah can't even compare this one to to the classic i'm sorry man i couldn't find classic though <laughs> and my lips are already suffering that's why i just got it like that what i don't even know how much i bought it but obviously would have put the price already hmm this one has to be i'll still look for the classic one there is this more where i usually get the classic um lip gloss from right ah this is like water on my lips ew it's not gonna last mm -hmm. so there is this place i usually get the classic i'll just go there and look for it and also i used to have very dark lips so <laughs> the secret to having um nice looking lips always moisturize your lips you see the way you always have to moisturize your skin that's how you also need to moisturize your lips and it's going to do the magic when you brush brush your lips briefly i always do that like i always brush my lips so don't worry you see my lips will heal and you see now that it's looking better because i applied the um, lip gloss right so when i stop it starts getting dark apart from this black spots if i stop using lip gloss it's gonna keep getting dark like if i just stop moisturizing my lips so if you have dark lips and you feel like you don't like your dark lips you want it to look better leave pink pink lip creams alone those pink lip lip creams they make you look really terrible ew <laughs> okay let's go make my hair that this mirror is as good as useless in the bedroom so I brought it back here because what there is practically no sunlight in the bedroom it's terrible like there are two walls blocking the windows of the bedroom I don't know I didn't think about that before moving the mirror in the first place anyway I'm back from the salon and this is my hair I'm going to take out the band in a few and you see it. 
Yes, so this is it. I wanted the hair to look like my hair, so it's a sewing. I got a sewing. Mm -hmm. My hair is showing, Sha. That's because of the hair dye. If not, from the roots, it's perfect. It's still like okay. It's still okay. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm beginning to look like the Jayan that I used to know. Oh. <laughs> okay, you guys. I forgot that I haven't like given you guys an update on my hospital trip. Did you guys notice that I went back to the private hospital, the gynecologist? Did you guys notice? Now, someone dropped a comment saying that they give preferential treatment, right? And okay, so the one I have um always been to is the nigerian air force hospital in makodi so i did not know anything like that was going on here in lagos i went i was one of the first few people that got to the hospital very early in fact i barely i did not even sleep that morning or that the night before that morning just because i wanted to make it early so i got there early we're told to go to the waiting area from there, your file will be taken to a doctor's office, right? Hmm. I waited and I waited and I waited. And someone told me, uh, they were calling, they were busy calling other people. And these people were mostly soldiers. People that I came before them, they were calling them. And someone just told me that I may even be here till like 6 p.m. And I was like, eh? So they are doing this here. Well, I've not had the experience here. So if I referred you to that hospital, it's not like you will not get medical care for, for cheap price, but are you, are you, do you have patience? Do you have the patience to wait? Because I did not have that patience. So I went to a different, like I had to go back. I went to pay that money, that money that I didn't want to pay in the first place. I've gone to pay it. I've paid it and I'm home and I'm waiting for my test results to be out. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to say goodbye. Let's end the vlog and I'll see you in my next one, okay? I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? <laughs> okay, I'll see you in my next one, okay? Bye. Mwah.